On the last All Out show, we discovered that John is still getting punked on by that fucking dog he lives with. Now that you got the couch, does the dog fuck you less? The dog will come in, but I but that little zap trick, f- freaking the dog out, did hey, seem to work. You do that? I did a little bit. Do it again. Hey, John, hey, just it. And then hey. a little freaked out, flinches a bit. And like, hey. The dog's shitting in the house all the time now. It's fucking terrible. What do you? Who do you I'm live with? I almost stepped in it. You know what I'm thinking? Bitch, bitch. bitch. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Fucking There's... bitch. And I talked to DJ EFN about going down to Colombia and the cocaine. The hood out there, they do this. They don't have enough bread to get a lot of coke, so they get a little coke and they mix it with concrete dust, right? They shave bricks, like yeah. the bricks from houses. They're out there shaving these bricks, and then the dust, whatever they shave off, they blend they mix that it with in. mix it a little bit of coke, shit, like if they're able they to get their hands on a little on bit of coke. And like it's drugs. It's and, they, and they do that. So that's, they that's shoot a drug it up that out the, there, like the hair on, laced on coke. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Yeah. And it's really bad. Like people are like <laughs> losing really their teeth by the puff. And now here's another episode of the All Out Show. Payday. We got paid today. I'm gonna buy something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and buy something stupid. It's fucking payday. Fuck it. A week ago, they had a fucking some tube in my ass, and this week I'm getting paid. Just gotta be patient. That's that's what you. That's what I learned. One 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 week you might be up. Next week you might be down. Just gotta keep bouncing back, y'all. You just keep bouncing back. Got my eye on a fucking fancy bag I'm gonna get. It's for all my old heads that peaked back in the 90s and shit. Hell yeah, payday. Is it payday for you too? Awesome. About to handle this rent. Fucking, you gotta be grateful for the little shit. Like back in the day, I used to, like, when, rent, when it was rent time, I'd be paranoid. Now I'd just be like, yup, let me fucking break them off. Pay early. And I'm grateful for that. So thank you, Sirius, for employing the kid. We're talking to a porn star today. We're doing a phoner, which is... Isn't it a phoner? Or is she coming in? I thought she was coming in. Oh, for real? I, I, I'll check it out. I prefer them to be face to face than phones, especially porn chicks, because they're in porn. She's going to tell you how to date a porn star. The do's and the don'ts. She wrote a whole article about it. It's phoner, bro. She's on the East Coast. I used to be real bad about doing the um, porn chicks in the studio because they get their titties out, and then I would lose IQ points. Because I wouldn't be thinking of shit to say. I'd be looking at their titties. Oh, yeah. She was supposed to do the show in New York, but missed it. Now we're doing the phoner. Bounce back. Bounce the fuck back. Listen to DJ Assault right now. I don't remember this next song. Let's see what's jogged my memory. It's called Dick by the Pound. I can relate. You want me to burn you a CD of this, John? Uh, I'm sure it'll grow on you. Throw the sign when you about to fuck abroad. When you're at home, do you listen to this? There you go. I can't listen to it because my fucking Apple computer broke. It's on my computer. Thanks a lot, Steve Jobs. I can't I can't even listen to this in my fucking house. I'm bring it in. Bring, bring in the computer. Bring in the computer. I don't trust you fishing around in my fucking shit, yo. Yo, you're a sneak. You got a real sneaky way about you. Look at your fucking, look at your fingers. You got <laughs> sneaky hands. You got a sneaky way about you. There's no fucking way. Not a chance. No way am I going to let you on my fucking computer. I'll have my cousin fix Family. You look like Sniggly Ricketts or whatever the fuck that shit is. Snickety, Lemony Snickets. Lemony Snickets. The one that touches the kids and shit. Whatever, Lemony Snicket, yeah. In the series of bad events, whatever the fuck it was. Well, I've got a few tricks, but I don't do uh, anything uh, to harm people. Run some scans in the network, checking things out. See? You would fix my computer and then make it where you could see me. And then, uh, then what's the word for that shit? Like, people that... They, there's a whole group of people that look at other people's computers. Oh, and then cameras. they And then they, feel, they, they call them, like... There's words for them. They're like... Like, they own... They're... They, they're they call them like slogs or some shit. Like that's what you would try to do to me. No way. Even if you didn't, I'd I'd be a paranoid fucking be like John's probably watching. Her. So we got a lot of love. We got the news. We got Feel Good Friday. Hey, Wiz Khalifa. It's the other guys. How do I say Shremmer? What's his first name? Ray Shremmer and Wiz Khalifa in Austin, Texas. Win tickets to fly out there on an aeroplane. Stay in a fucking fancy hotel. And go to the show and meet them at the meet and greet. Go to Sirius.com forward slash Wiz Khalifa for your chance to win. All right. All right. 
Is there a chance these guys who spy on people through their webcams, are they called ratters for remote access? Con- remote administration tool, ratters? I don't know, man. It was, there was a, I read an article about it like fucking three years ago. Like people just like to look, they'll just take over someone's computer and just watch them. And they feel like this sense of power because like they're spying on you. All right. We're gonna play some uh we're gonna play some rap music now and come on back with a line of love. You are checking out the all out show with Rude Jude on demand. Say forty five, I got Alana Love on the line. How you doing, Alana? Hi, thank you so much for having me. Well, thanks for coming on the show. You wrote you wrote you wrote an article. Uh I did. Facts You Should Know Before Dating a Porn Star. I did. That was me. <laughs> that was you. What what made you feel the need to write this article? I mean, so many people feel that, like, you know, all porn stars are, like, party girls and stuff and, like, do drugs and just, like, all want, like, threesomes all the time and gangbangs all the time and everything. But I'm really just a homebody. Like, I like to Netflix and chill and everything. And so I felt... Maybe it was, like, facts that everybody should know on how to, like, deal with me, pretty much. So this <laughs> this isn't on how to date a porn star as much as on how to date you? Did you did you um, talk to well, other porn not, chicks? I did. Okay. So I spoke to some of them. So I, not all of them, obviously, but I spoke to some of them, and a lot of them felt the same way I did. So that's why this article was a good one. Basically. All right, let's let's what's the first what's the number one mistake man uh mistake men make when dealing with porn chicks? Um that basically like I said that we're just like all like we just want to go out and party and we just want like to do like we just want to have sex on the first date, which is fine because we're all adults. So if I'm sometimes. feeling it, then it's fine. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. But um, do they hit on you to... weird? Do they do? Do they cut I in? Mean, a lot of guys get like intimidated at first. They're like, "Yeah, this is cool and everything," and then they get intimidated. So that's why the guy really, the guy needs to be really secure within himself in order to like be able to. You know, see me have sex on camera and stuff and be able to just deal with that lifestyle. You also worked at the Bunny Ranch, too, so that would include I did. Trick. And would, they, they, we, would he have to be okay with that as well? Of course. Like, I think in the whole adult industry, um, you need to be so secure that, like, and know that, what I'm doing it at the Bunny Ranch or when I was at the Bunny Ranch and in porn, that that's just work and that's just me getting a paycheck. When I come home, I'm home to you. So you would expect a monogamous relationship? I mean, I don't mind having like threesomes or anything like that, but what's the point of cheating if we could all participate together? Would you be into an open relationship? I'm selfish. What's mine is mine, but that's just me. <laughs> You're going to get a very special kind of guy. <laughs> I don't mind sharing. I feel like you're going to I feel like the kind of guy you're going to get is either going to be one that's going to try to run your pockets or fucking want to hear about like the dicks that went in you. If if they're just going to like Yeah, yeah, if, it's almost like they're getting cuckled. No, definitely not. There is, like, there's an understanding. Listen, I'm upfront and honest. The first date, I'm upfront and honest with everyone. Listen, this is what I do. It's either you get to know me for me or you could walk away. I don't hold anything back. I don't hold any secrets. Like, so that, therefore, you have the option of either sticking it out or walking away and being like, you know what? It was nice knowing you. And I'll see you around. Are you single now? No, I'm with someone. And is he in the business or is he a civilian? He is not in the business, no. He's a civilian? Yes. And are, and you're still taping scenes? 
Well, I'm only shooting girl girl scenes now. So you went over to girl girl because he was yeah. uncomfortable with you getting well, piped out. Of, well, yeah, out of respect and everything, I only chose to do girl girl scenes, and um, but if that was a mutual thing, a decision. That was that was a that was a discussion you two had. You reached a compromise. Yeah. Had, mm-hmm. Have you been with uh, men where they were they were cool with? you doing guys well yeah i mean i was in a nine-year relationship and my ex didn't meet me this way i was running nightclubs in new york i was and doing all that and then when times got tough i was like listen i need to do this and everything and he was cool with it until like you said he was like he became like a crazy psycho fanatic and basically it just didn't work Let's go to Denny uh, in Toledo, and he is going to, he would like to weigh in. Uh, there you go. Denny. Hi. Yep. Hello. Uh, I uh, I actually, I, I date a sex worker right now. Okay. Um, and, you know, as a as a guy who goes through it, I mean, I, honestly, it's not that hard. I mean, like I, like, like how she was saying, I understand that she goes to work and she gets, you know, she's getting a paycheck. That's all it is. Like, these dudes don't mean nothing to her. And, you know, she keeps it honest and open with me, and that's all I really care about. There you go. What, t- what type of what type of sex work does she do? Uh, she's an escort. Okay. I mean, it's always good to be upfront and honest about everything and be open and honest because without trust, there's no relationship. Even a friendship, there's nothing. So... Yeah. Did you find did you find the guy that you were dating for nine years was did he I I I see I often see uh porn chicks fall into this into this uh trap where they they start dating guys that kind of get money off of them. Like I mean, they be I they become the sole they they they're the sole breadwinner. I was the sole breadwinner, except for me, like, I was, you know, love makes you do stupid things. So I was just like, I'm a ride or die and everything. But then towards the end, I was just, it's not for me. I'm losing out. I'm not gaining anything. So I need to walk away. It took me nine years to realize that. But at the end, I'm much better off. And I became smarter towards my next relationship. Clearly. Let's go to Ben <laughs> in Portland. Go ahead, Ben. Hey, how you doing, Joe? Sure. Hey, listen, um, I dated Menage a Trois. She's a porno star. I guess this young lady knows her, too. And uh, we were together for five years, and uh, I used to own a strip club. So I had my own money. She had hers. But the thing about it was, you know, I had no problem with her uh, uh, going to shows, doing the porn and all that. You know what I mean? Because at least I know where she was at. It ain't like when you go to work and your woman is screwing a, a milkman or a fucking mailman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. However, the problem was that jealousy, man. I mean, you doing your thing and then you getting jealous in the in the relationship got kind of... Uh, volatile man, and, it, and you know, after a while, I realized, man, it wasn't even worth it. Were you jealous, or was she jealous? I mean, she was jealous to the point where she didn't want certain people dancing in my club, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? And it, and it got out of control, you know. Mm. So uh, we had to let that thing go. But um, you know, I always wished her well. You know, she had a son by somebody, and you know, she's doing her thing. I'm still doing mine. Everything is great. Well, there you go. That's good to hear. Yeah, I've I've never had a monogamous relationship with porn chicks. Uh, Do you ever find that? um, I find that uh, when I'm seeing the porn chicks what they appreciate about me and I don't I just I don't try to change them or save them like mm-hmm. I I'm not like here to save I'm like go fuck whoever you want just right 
just hit it with some baby wipes before you come see me, and we're fucking golden. Well, yeah, of course. Like, I mean, I take, like, four showers a day because I like to be extra clean, apparently. But I feel that it's a lot safer to have sex with a porn chick than with a civilian because we all get tested. We all know that, like, we're safe and clean. Whereas some of the civilian girls and guys don't even know what a test is. I'm not saying all, but some. Sophia in Washington. Go ahead, Sophia. Hi. I just uh, wanted to chime in about, like, trying to find a legit boyfriend when you're a porn star slash hoe working at the Bunny Ranch in Pahrump. I don't think that it's even possible because the only kind of guy that would want to be with anybody like this is going to be a pimp, basically, or she would have to straight up retire and he would have to be okay with knowing that all his homies can go on like Pornhub or whatever and see her fuck some guy you know, up the ass and pussy and licking some bitch's pussy, you know, and all this. They have to be okay with that. And the only people that I've known in my past is guys that were like pimps or want to be pimps, basically. And the only reason why they want to be with anybody like this anyway is just to get in her pocket. What is your answer to that? Well, that that I have to disagree because the only pimp I have is my bank. That's the only pimp I ever had or have. And but what is the protection? What's the difference protection between what I do on friend? camera, and I understand that like I have sex on camera and everything, but what's a chick at a bar that has sex that has sex for like a free drink or for a free meal? How's that any different? Well, Just not every girl not is doing like it that, on There are a lot of girls out there that do date I'm not guys saying all girls. Like, legit I'm not jobs saying all girls. that don't go to bars and fuck for drinks or dinners and things like that. I'm so, not saying all girls. Like myself. I'm, saying, I'm not going to fuck some guy that buys me three drinks at a bar, at a club, or whatever. He's right, I'm not to, like, either. You know, but I do have sex on camera. And I made that decision, and I made that choice, and I'm okay with it. I'm not ashamed of it. But at the same time, nor will I have anyone in my pockets nor will I have a pimp. My relationship is secure, and my relationship is 100% trust, what? honesty, and open communication. What's your man do, may I ask? He's in the entertainment industry. All right, so he's he's in the entertainment business. And how long have you how long have you been uh, in in the porn business, Alana? Um, I've been in the adult industry for seven years. All right, so seven years. Mm-hmm. And do do you see how much longer do you see yourself working in this? I mean, I just turned thirty five on July twenty fifth. Okay. So as much as I could write it out, I'm not looking to make this a lifelong career. I'm not going to be one of those like fifty year olds still doing porn and stuff. Kudos to the ones that do, but I'm not planning on doing that. I'm just going to ride it until I can't ride it no more. Amp in Florida. Amp. Hey, I got two questions for you, baby. How you doing? Hey, uh, all right. How, how do y'all, how do you guys do like the, the, the testing? Like, how do you, like, if, if I want to fuck you or whatever the case may be, how do we go about like you not knowing that I got any STD or anything? You just got to go get tested and show her the paper. Yeah, I would make you go get tested. So, and then oh, okay. the uh, next day yeah. I get the results. Oh, okay. So if I want to fuck a porn star, how would I go about fucking a porn star? Um, I that I can't answer because everyone is different. But I mean, slide into her just, DMs and offer her some money, yeah. some racks. Uh, <laughs> and now, now when you get cream pie. Like can, you can't can you have any kids or like you get on birth control or anything when you get cream pie? Because I'm watching this video where you just fuck like five guys at one time, and oh, like all of them. Of course, came. I'm on birth control. Oh okay, I was just wondering. I wouldn't want to be the fifth guy. Beautiful, 
Yeah, hey, I was, I was gonna be the first one. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'd be, let me be the choo choo. I'll be the front of the train. Fuck. <laughs> um, hey man, appreciate it, man. All right, peace. Uh, this Thank you. Tom in Philly has an interesting question. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, Lena, I just want to know, like, what if you know? How do you go from you know having guys with twelve, fourteen inch cocks and then coming home and then? You know, like me. You know what I mean? Like, does it just like fall out of that? Like, does it even feel is, good? Is, or, dick like, size, is, is dick size and shit? Is dick size an issue for you? Dick size is not an issue for me because as long as you know how to work it, then you're good. But so, I mean, does it feel good for the dude after you've been railed by like you know dudes with like foot long dicks all day, and then you come home and then you know you got a normal size dude? But you know, does that even feel I'm good for him? The normal size. I prefer the normal size. Well, you know what I'm saying. That, that's your job. You get you get stressed out all day, and then you know you're gonna come home. And then Tom, I, uh, I'm gonna jump in. Like I fuck I fuck porn chicks that take giant dicks, and it's, it, the pussy snaps back, bro. Like it, it, it doesn't. Right it, you don't get like stretched out. It doesn't become loose or anything like that. You feel like it's. You know how does a woman give birth? And then still get their still get their pussies like tight. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, Robert in Delaware. Alana, I was wondering, are is you the same Alana? That's the pre, the prego porn, Alana. No, it's a different one. Oh, damn. Oh, Sorry. Warn, warn. <laughs> I was really I, I, was, I wanted to hear about that shit. I was like, hey, have you Sorry. ever have you ever had a boyfriend insecure about uh, pleasing you because? Because of your job? Um, honestly, no. Because go. at first, yes, they may be intimidated. But once we get to know each other and know what we like and everything, then at, at the end of the day, it's, we, we're good. You can follow Alana. Uh, it's under, underscore A-L-A-N-A underscore, underscore L-U-V. L-U-V. Underscore. And uh, I appreciate you coming on and being. Thank you so much. Being for so candid. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you so much. No doubt. I appreciate you. And next time I'm in LA, I'll contact you. Yeah, you come on by. And, and Thank you. you. And you let me know if. Uh, let, how long have you been with this last guy for? Um, About a year. About a year? Mm hmm. It's going to be. That girl, girl shit's fucking up your money. You're gonna need some dick in your life soon. Back on, you, do you see yourself having to fucking have that conversation with him, or is it, are you just gonna stay girl, girl for the rest of your career? I guess I'll see where it goes, and I'll let you know. You'll be the first one to know. That's that's that was yeah. That's 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 gonna be my follow up when when you come back, <laughs> come back by. Right. No problem. All right, take care. Bye. All right, let's Bye. go. Bye. 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 All right, feel good Friday coming up next. Don't go nowhere. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Wow! It ain't Shade 45. Shade 45, what up, though? It is Feel Good Friday. Today's a very special day. There's a blood moon eclipse. If you happen to be in the Middle East, Africa, or Central Asia, you're in luck. You can see it really good. But I guess if you go outside between like now and. 7.30 Eastern. Well, if in North America, you're in big trouble. So you'll have to go online. It's not oh, good. you can't even see it? You just got you to look at it online? Yeah. So, Is that it right now? Uh-huh. Like as it happens? Yeah. Over in Abu Dhabi. Looks pretty cool. It's like... <laughs> just looks like the fucking moon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Celestial wonder. What is it? I don't even what's I don't even like the lunar eclipse is was that at night or some shit? Yeah, well, when the when the moon is visible, but it's the longest lunar eclipse for the for the century. No homo. <laughs> what? I'm just fucking what you do. Um. All right, there you go. Longest lunar eclipse of the century. If you're into if you're into fucking space type shit. All right, we talk a bunch of shit all week long, and then for one hour on Friday, 
We like to focus on what we're grateful for, what we're feeling good about, what we're looking forward to. Jude, what do you what do you feel good about? Feel good about that I finally got my fucking stomach problem diagnosed and hey, I'm I'm gonna get treated in a week or two. So that's fucking awesome. And I'm getting a goddamn pellet gun to kill them rats in my in my backyard. I'm gonna be a rat killing motherfucker. Rat bow. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, he's a fucking idiot. Oh, call me up right now. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Call up right now. What are we going to start off with? Here's a little fucking... From the Juice soundtrack, Eric B. and Rock M. Know the ledge. Let's go. 8 at 8, 7423345. It is Feel Good Friday. Call up right now. Let me know what you're feeling good about. Let's go to Atlanta. Tyler, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Great. What are you feeling good about? I'm feeling good because I proposed last night. She said yes. That's cool, man. That's cool. Well, uh, you set you set a date or how does that work? Uh, no, we're probably looking at fall 2019, give it a little bit of time, but I haven't yeah. quite set a date just yet. You go holler at her folks ahead of time? Oh, uh, yeah, I already talked to them. All right, you handled it, handled it. You got her a ring and all that shit. Where were you when you proposed? I was at the Sundial up in downtown Atlanta. Have you heard of that place? Would you say the Sundial? Yeah, Sundial. It's a restaurant, 720 some feet in the air. Oh, that's dope. Look at yeah, you, really fucking cool. Mr. Romantic. Fucking crushing it. <laughs> Congrats, man. Congratulations. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, good Good luck to you and, and the missus. And you hey, I appreciate that, man. Have a bunch of kids and all that shit. Eric in uh, Richmond. Hey, man. What's up, hey, bro? how you doing? Uh, feeling, good, feeling good about this show, but also feeling good because I have a brand new baby daughter, 12 days old. Oh man, that's had a baby. I've been learning a daughter. Your sperm made a daughter. What'd you name what you name the baby? Yeah. It's my heiress, Mary Alice. Mary Alice, there you go. Congrats, man. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. That was my wife's idea. I like her. my idea, man. Yeah, man. Totally. Everything you do, man. And, like, yep. even my wife loves it, dude. Like, she's on it now. She's like, this is dope. So, yeah, just, you know, feeling good about that. And, man, she's smiling. She's farting. Fuck, I smell it. Man, I mean, she's louder. Fart, farts louder than anybody I ever heard, but besides that, she's beautiful. You got to, yeah, babies fart, man. They shit, too. You got to clean the diapers all whole nine. Uh, we're doing the whole thing, man. Yeah. Hey, love you out here in Richmond, California, man. Appreciate you, man. Let's go to John and Dayton. Hey, what's up, crew, dude? What's up, man? What you feeling good about? Man, I'm finally kicking my gambling habit, man. I'm just, I'm going I'm to quit cold turkey i've been struggling with gambling for a while i've lost five thousand dollars in the past week and a half and i'm just tired of this shit man well what what what, what do you do you you bet on sports or or cards both. sports blackjack anything you can name it i always have a bet on it i'm just it's been fucking up my life man, yeah, man. i so. bet you can't stay off and it's just like every time i go in a casino it's just like it pumps me up I, I just want a little, I just left the casino, I want a little, I just said, you know what, I'm done with this shit, man. How much you win? Uh, uh, only about $500. How So how, how much are you down altogether then? Oh, well, shit, I looked at my win-loss statement for the past two years, I've, I've lost over 30000 All right, yeah, just, yeah, it's probably... You, yeah, you good. Don't don't do that no more. Yeah, man. I, uh, I, it's definitely time for me to call it a day. But get weed. Hey, Start pre- smoking weed. It's cheaper. Or some shit like that. 
yeah, I probably should. I I don't do drugs and shit. I've already got this demon. I can't see, I can't see doing anything else. But I appreciate you taking the call, man. I'm yeah. a big fan of yours. And uh, I'm, I've got your two books on order as we speak. Yeah, that's a lot of addiction in there. So you'll have fun with that, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, bro. Man. Peace. I appreciate it. Yeah, Take man. Care. Be well. Habib. What's going down, Joe? Shit, chilling, man. What you got going? Oh, oh man. Shit, get ready for this motherfucking uh, jazz fest down here in the Nasty Natty. It's oh. a huge fucking event. It's once a year. They jumped it off last night with Jazzy Jeff and MC Light and my man DJ Vader. He's a Cincinnati legend. Then, uh, Friday and Saturday, they got like Common, Charlie Wilson, Boys and Men, Escape, Jill Scott, The yeah. Roots. That should be bananas. And they be coming from like Chat Town to Detroit, heavy and a motherfucker, you know. You know, them hoes be down here tricking too, trying to get that money. But yeah. a lot of us niggas, we don't trick like that down here, man. That's what's I mean, we'll get it, but not for motherfucking not paying for free. You yeah. know, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. You oh, Big Daddy Kane gonna be down here too. Him and Bilal, they doing a free concert on the square, you know. So a lot of shit. They got the motherfucking Cincy Soul Fest, like thirty food trucks and shit be downtown. All kind of good eating, all that shit, man. It's gonna be a great fucking weekend for the city. They bring a lot of money here, you know. Straight up. What you got going on? Going to a funeral. <laughs> You going to a funeral? Oh man, cut. my condolences, Jude. You yeah. bullshitting though, man. No, I'm dead. No, I'm dead serious. But yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, my condolences. I'm not even trying man. to crack Sorry a joke. Yeah, yeah. That. But uh, yeah, so have fun, man, and fucking you, eat your. You soup. ain't never heard of it? Yeah, I heard of it. I, yeah, I heard of it. Yeah, yeah, I oh, have. Okay, okay. Yeah, that should be lit, man. I mean, it's the biggest. It's the biggest shit that come through the city every year. Yeah, but, you know. Well, I hope you get some uh, some shot town pussy or some sh- some out of town pussy, sir. Ah, uh, can't do it on the air, Joe. My yep. wife may hear you, man. Uh-huh. Calm this shit down, man. Well, I hope Calm that I hope you and your wife have a lovely time at Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was last night, but there you go. Way to clean it up oh, for me, Joe. Way to clean it up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hope. Uh, I hope the, the Roots right, dedicated a song to her. There you go. All right, man. Let's yeah, go to Mike yeah. in Nebraska before I fucking fuck this shit up anymore. Mike, what's up? What's up, Jew? What you got up, man? What's up? Man, I'm I'm feeling great right now. I'm feeling good. Freedom is great. Oh, oh, you was locked up, it sounds like. Yeah, just got out, buddy. How uh, How long were you in jail for? I just did a little month. I, I was out swinging and banging. They hit me hit me on two DUIs, so I I went in and took my little jail time instead of probation. Okay, there you go. <laughs> what you doing there? Shit, I'm feeling good though. I'm about to hit the water, go out on the boat, and pop me a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you learned your lesson, man. That's Mike in Nebraska. <laughs> No, nah, I got I got a I got a driver to drive me home this time though. Yeah, Uber man, shits is fucking. It's probably expensive out there in Nebraska, but like, yo, it's a real nah, game you changer. Know, you know how you get you you get a couple in you and you're like, ah, I can make it. I might be able to make it home. And then them boys get behind you. Yeah, yeah. No, I do Ubers, man. I don't. I don't yeah, we got Ubers out here, bro. I don't. I don't. I'm not that dude. But I hear what you're saying. Let's go to uh, Taylor. Yeah. What's up, man? What are you feeling good for? Man, I'm feeling good because I'm actually on my way back to my apartment. I've been going for a week. I'm going back to pick up the rest of my shit because Monday morning I did a little scheming in my girl's cell and found out she was, you know, scheming with some other cats behind my back. We've Damn. been engaged for a couple years now, dating for four, uh, living together for three. So I'm just, I'm just blessed to find out now instead of later, you know what I mean, after the fact and before she could take me for half my shit. Yeah, I'm sorry that you fucking settled down with a piece of shit, but I'm glad that yeah, you it figured happened. it out. But I'm, how I'm many dudes? That I fi- how many fucking different guys did she cheat? She claims she didn't cheat, but she was just, you know what I'm saying, encouraging it. Yeah, you know, like just flirting with him with the little ex, keep blowing kisses and that nah, shit. Nah. Hard to what? Nah. Can't have it. Nah. Can't I have it. me with that shit. Nah. Nope. Too grown for it, huh? Nope. So, so did, I just I, I made it easy on her. I just packed the bags up. You got the fuck gone. It, it was wild because she was sleeping when I went through her phone on Sunday night. 
So well, I sent myself I sent myself screenshots of uh, her text messages with these other dudes, right? How many other dudes? Two. Damn. And then uh, I didn't um, I didn't delete that text. You know what I mean? Send it to myself so that oh. she would see it when she woke up. Mm. So first thing Monday morning, you know what I mean? She peeped and realized what, what went on, and she tried. You know what I mean? There was a guilt trip, like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? It's going through my phone. I can't trust you. I'm like, bitch, trust. I can't trust you. What the fuck are you talking about? What made you? What made you? Uh... What made you go through her phone at the Man, wee hours know, of the yo. morning? It was just like a it was just like a weird gut feeling yeah. and her phone was just going off, going off, and uh I went to grab it to put it on silent and none of the text messages were from the dudes, they were all from her family, but nonetheless it was just blowing up. So and just by like I noticed that she's got the new iPhone with the four digit passcode instead of six. Yeah. And for some reason, man, I got thinking to myself, I was like, I bet that bitch's code is the same as her pin number on her debit card. And sure enough, first try, boom, that bitch opened right up for me. Damn. And then I, I learned what I was suspicious of. That sucks. It sucks that uh, your girl cheated and that, like, you you became the guy that had to sneak around on phones. So I hope, yeah, exactly. I hope the hell exactly, that... Exactly, because that ain't me. Yeah, I hope the hell that your, your next girl... Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, not just sneaking you, man, around but, uh, on I'm, phones. You know, type. it's just less... Because uh, I used to... Man, I was running and gunning before I met her. She was my first love. I ain't gonna lie, but... Yeah. It does feel kind of good to be... You know what I mean? Broke, broke loose again. Yeah, go it's get some... It's like the cat's back out the bag. Go get some new pussy. Yep. But I do have one quick question, though. I'd like to know where the fuck Cousin's boating at out in Nebraska. They got, I'm sure they got some is lakes there out water there. Water in Nebraska? Yeah, man, they got lakes and shit all over the motherfucking country. Do they? Yeah. I felt like Nebraska was just like cornfields and like nothing, just fields. <laughs> how many? Look, look up how many lakes are in Nebraska. Twelve. So he's got twelve, 12. lakes in Nebraska. There you go. They, yeah. Damn. There it is. Damn. All right. See. All right. Yeah. See, we, I'm here right alongside the Chesapeake Bay, so we, we, learned something. we got more water in a little bit. I'm starting to figure out why she cheated on you. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, it, it wasn't the sex, I can tell you that. It was, it was, it was just, I wasn't showing her enough respect, man. Um, yeah, well, whatever, man. You live, you learn. I'm a, uh, Let's jump into a song. Here it is, uh, Big Mike, Barbers and Impalas. Feel good Friday, eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Call up. Let me know what you're feeling good for. We got Ron and Philly. Ron, what's up, man? Yo, Jude. So check this out, man. So I get to work, right? I'm yeah. working. Yeah. Everybody calling my phone, texting my phone, like, yo, bro, the CEO of the company just called your name. I think you won ten grand. Whatever, yo. Like, I ain't paying to no mind. So I'm like, yeah. I go about my day. So by the end of my day. Like, it, it's just getting annoying. So my boss called me. And like, yo, I heard you heard a rumor that you won 10 grand. He's like, yeah, bro, you, you actually won 10 grand. They, they put my name in the drone and I won 10 grand. Seven stacks after, after taxes, but shit, I'll take it. That's fucking awesome. What do you do? I work for American Airlines. That's cool as hell, man. Congrats. Congrats yeah. on winning fucking seven grand. That's fucking right. great. I, I take it. You know, I might need to play the Powerball. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why the right. fuck not? And so John, he played me. I was supposed to win some prize in Detroit to go see some concert. I fly all the way to Detroit. Nobody pick up for the tickets, man. He did me dirty. Really? Yeah, John. What happened? John, he said he flew to Detroit for a show. What was the show? Uh, I can't remember. You was like, yo, we got you got uh, these tickets for some show in Detroit. I wanted to say it was ICP, but I don't think it was ICP. It was I just know it was a concert at the House of Blues. I won tickets. I got took my information. I got there and, and what? Nothing shaking. This guy's smoking crack. This is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we don't okay, got John. We, we don't got House of Blues oh, oh, in Detroit. Long, 10, long ten did me dirty. Right. This is false. False. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Ragu in Tacoma. Yo. What's up, man? man? Work construction gig. Yeah. Work construction gig. All right. I did half a day all week and got paid for eight hours a day. That's fucking awesome, dog. That's fucking awesome. 
Well, can I say can I say one thing? It's all you. Fuck you, John. <laughs> After all that, all that goodness this week, you call in to say fuck you, John, and I put you on Ragu. He already hung up. Dick. I didn't know that was gonna be the thing he was gonna say, man. I've been really trying to be positive on, on these on these feel good Fridays. Eight at eight seven four two three three four five. Eight at eight seven four two three three four five. Jesus Christ! All these, it's all these are like all this real positive shit. There's no fucking threesomes or nothing. God, give me some fucking threesomes or something. Alex in L.A. Yo, what's up, man? What up? Uh, thanks, thanks for taking the call. No I was doubt. just listening, turning in on your radio station right now. Um, so I'm thankful for uh, this youth nonprofit soccer academy that I created with a couple friends of mine, man. We uh, created a soccer academy for kids in El Salvador for ages 5 to 19. And I was just out there actually two weeks ago working directly with the kids, taking a bunch of cleats, soccer balls, uniforms, you name it, man. Everything that they need to play soccer, we take it to them. Oh, that's it's, awesome. Uh, it's it's free for the kids. We've been running on donations from people out here, donors and people that want to just give out the stuff that their kids used to use and no longer play with, you know? Well, and uh, You got a website or something you want to shout it out? Yeah, man. So our website is LA2LA.com. That's LA, the number two, LA.com. There and it is. It's, it's, a, it's a play on Los Angeles to Los Amates, which is the community that we're in. And... Uh, on Instagram, we're afja.es, so that's A-F-J-A dot E-S. So if anyone wants to come follow us, check out the smiles of the kids and them playing soccer. You know where to go. That's cool, man. Thanks for giving back. Let's go to Graham and Raleigh. Graham. Yo, dude, what's up, man? Shit, chillin'. Feeling good uh, right now. Just signed two new recruits for this upcoming season to my new uh, my team this year. So uh, feeling pretty good about that. What do you coach? Uh, William Peace University, head women's basketball coach down here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, that's what's up. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it, man. All right, cool, man. Let's go to Ben and Sensi. Ben. Yo, Judy, what's good? What's now, happening? Uh, yeah, I just I just graduated college debt free. Uh, I'm about to move out to Arizona for my first full time job with a large logistics company. Uh, I'm going to a party tonight about a plug a Latina pussy tonight. Yo, it's awesome. When you speak Spanish, yo, it gets them Latina chicks dripping wet. So, about, about a fuck a Latina tonight. And then I'm going to see uh, Wiz, Ray Strummer, and Los Guys tomorrow. So, about to do a lot of drugs for that shit. I got the codeine. I got some pints. I can't fucking wait. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Are you, do, do, Bro. do you know the uh, Latin chick that you finna fuck? Or you just know that you're going to pull one because you can speak Spanish? No, no. Actually, I already got one lined up. I uh-huh. met her last week at hey. uh, at the bars in Cincinnati, and yeah, no, we just hit it off. Like when you're a white dude that can speak Spanish, it's just like they're amazed. And yeah. Oh, and by the way, one more thing, Judy. Remember, I called you about two months ago, telling you that I uh, I referenced Hummingbird in a job interview. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, they actually gave they actually offered me the job, but. Uh, I flew out to Arizona for this logistics company, and and they they gave me a better offer. So, there you oh go. yeah, I'm, I'm moving out west, baby. I can't fucking wait. You're gonna be able to speak a lot of Spanish in Arizona, so yeah. you're oh yeah, you're gonna oh, have yeah. yeah, you're gonna have a ball. You're gonna be running through the yeah, I can't wait. So, man, I, I appreciate everything that you do. You know, I've read both of your books multiple times over. Uh, I, I just can't thank you enough, man. You have a good rest of your weekend. All right, sure. You too, man. Thank you. Appreciate you supporting, Jazzy B. Yo, Jude. What up, First man? Foremost, I'd like to say, I thought you was fucking black the whole time I'm listening to you on the radio, bro. Surprise, I'm pink. I was. You, you, you're fucking gangster. I could dig it. But anyways, I'm feeling good, man. Been smoking some ribs on the grill for 11 hours today. Damn. Fucking just bought a house. Got my nice. medical license, so it's fucking smoking wraps and smoking fucking ribs on the grill. You live in the dream. It. You're fucking living the Fuck. dream. Fucking right I am. Besides all these horse and buggies and shit, I got to drive around and say, I live in the country and shit now. Was it, were you by the Amish? These guys. You, you by the Amish people? Fuck yeah. yeah. They live down the block from me. Matter of fact, I was at one of their house today. He's fucking cool as shit. He's helping me renovate the house. His wife's, her ankles are hairy as fuck. <laughs> that, shit is, that shit is true. Do they, do they use deodorant? I don't think so, bro. No, my so. my dude, I'm not going to say his name, but he's 36 and he already has eight kids. 
Yeah. Going strong. Pull out games, whack as hell in the Amish community. <laughs> they got- yeah, I think you should play that drop for him. He be nothing these bitches. For all the Amish out there listening. Illegally. They got some shit. There was like a there was a documentary on it. It was like like when you're 17 or 18, you can go just wild the fuck out and uh, and uh, decide if you're gonna continue being Amish or not. You get you get like one full year to just go fucking buck wild. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. Because I was talking to him the one day, and I was like, "Yo, what's up?" Like, I I hear you guys run off to like New York and Cali and shit. And he's like, "Yeah, we get uh, I, I forget the name of it, but they get yeah. like a little right to passage." Man, I'm telling you, I kind of got respect for them though because they they live the old fashioned way, man. Yeah, Cut out all that nonsense bullshit that we all go through every day today. But that should be tough, man. Rum springer is the word. Not. Rum springer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it Fucking is. Doing Rum ecstasy, springer. sucking dick, going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. Was, yeah, was, yeah. You know, hey, listen, I wanted to say this for all the uh, listeners that are out there. My yeah. boy, HC Garden State Pusher from Atlantic City. I swear to you, I shit you not. That new song with 6 9 and Nicky, he stole that concept from him. He recorded the song over a year ago with the same concept, yeah. same hook, and all of that. And now this motherfucking weirdo's blowing up, making money off of it. Well, you better it's expose him. Up. And then shout out to my boy Animosity in Seattle. All right. We better expose him. All right. Play a song. Take some more calls. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me do a little fucking. Oh, yeah. Let's do some above the law. No, that ain't it. No, that ain't, that ain't the song. My shit just fucking. I didn't hit pause, so it just like I went to go click on above law and it jumped. That's what happens. That that's what happens when your fucking uh, rap show guy has to run everything off of iTunes. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Here it is. A little bit of VSOP. Feel Good Friday, 888 Call up. Let me know what you're feeling good for. We got Juan in Connecticut. Juan, what's up, man? What's going on, Ro Jew? Man, I'm over here chilling. What are you feeling good for? I'm, I'm feeling good, man. I own a brokerage company for truckers and just landed a big, big deal. I need to hire 200 owner-operators, though. I know you got many of them listening. You want to, you, you got a website they can go to or anything like that or what? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's www. Global, the number 365logistics.com. There you go. Go get some money, y'all. I appreciate you, man. www.globallogistics.365.com. Is that it? Global365logistics.com. Oh, uh, yeah. I almost fucked up all your money. Almost, yes, you did. I almost blew it. <laughs> glad, we, glad we fixed that one. All right, there you go. Well, c- congrats on getting the big job and... uh Hopefully we can spread some some money around. Uh, definitely, I appreciate you, man. Everything right. you do, man. Respect to us on the ground. You too, man. Thanks, bro. Peace. Let's go All to right. Ronnie in San Antonio. Ronnie, Jared in SoCal. Jared, what up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Shit, chilling. What you feeling good for? I quit drugs, man. Well, I quit opiates. I feel good about it. So I'm off that shit now. How long it take? How, how long you been off for? Not long. Uh, I just started sub, suboxone treatment, so okay. not too long. But I decided to make a step forward, and I'm going with it. Congratulations, sir! Congrats. Yeah, John wants me to be all down or give him my lows and be graphic about it. So I had an addiction problem for a long time. He still pills from my mom who needed them. Like I was fucked up, man. Doing some fucked up shit. You were one of them. Yeah, I was one of them. I mean, All right. it happens, I guess. Well, shit. But, well, stay, congrats and uh, stay clean, bro. I'm hopes are a motherfucker, thanks, man. man. Yeah, I feel good now. All right. Let's go to uh, John in Victorville. John. Hello, how's it going, guys? So we're in Vegas, yep. 
Uh, first time in the States, and I pulled up to a guy who was just rolling stacks. We were playing dice, we were playing craps. And actually, uh, he was rolling with about $53,000 and actually both made me about four stacks, and it was fucking amazing. I love the States. I want to come back here. I don't know if it's going to be sooner or later. Now I just don't know what to do with the money. Where, 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 where are you from? Britain or some shit? <laughs> yeah, mate, I'm English. All right, yeah, buy some. I've learned, bird, I've learned the birds like that. Yeah, you, you, yeah, just go out and go talk in your British accent, and then pull bitches and and fuck. Use yeah, it. For, yeah. Use I it for the, hotel I left rooms. the wife back in England, so yeah. uh, I can go about you know prowling the night, speaking with my sexy British accent. Yeah, maybe get on the radio a couple times. Airbnb and cocaine. That's what I would use that money on. Oh, oh, okay. What about that uh, Bitcoin? I think I want to just throw it all in there now. You know, I'm a gambling man at this point. I think Facebook stock is down right now. I once yeah. you once you jump on that, I don't I don't think they're going to go out of business anytime soon. I thought maybe Amazon skyrocketing. It's not a good time to buy, huh? Nope, it's awful. This guy's it, even if he isn't telling the truth, it sounds like he is because he's got the British accent. <laughs> I trust everything you say right now, John. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think uh, you got to buy when there's blood in the streets. That's what I've heard from the ravaging, savage American investors. So <laughs> whenever something's going down and you see a nice dip in the market, you're supposed to jump right on it. That's that's when you get after it. I'm, I'm, he ain't lying. It's like, it was like talking to fucking BBC. This shit's awesome. All right. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Let's go to Oscar in Alabama. Oscar. What's going on, dude? What up, though? What you feeling good for? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good because one, I just had hit 31 on Wednesday, and I just got promoted to East Central United States Navy, so I'm feeling real good. Right now. I'm trying to go down here to San Diego and soak the city up. There it is. Oh, you going out to San Diego? Is that you going to be stationed there, or are you just going to no, go out? That's where I'm going to be stationed. I'm from Alabama. All right. I'm stationed in this hot ass place called 29 Palms right now. Yeah, it's just hot. Yeah, I heard of that. It's place. 115 degrees out here. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're, yeah, you're gonna cool. really like San Diego. It's the shit. Oh yeah, I was stationed in New a few years ago, so I already know what it's like. There you go. Well, congrats on congrats on the uh, the pay raise and everything. Let's go to Scott. Yo, what's up, man? What you feeling good for? Should just drop my son off. Got no kids for the weekend. I go on vacation for 13 days at 7 in the morning. Going to take my car to some car shows. Going to spend some time with my wife. I'm feeling good, dude. What kind of car you got? I got a 68 Camaro just fully restored as nice. of like two months ago. Nice. Original motor. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a badass car, dude. That's cool as hell, man. Congrats. Have fun with the wife. Have fun yep. on vacation. Let's go to Shonda, Miami. Go ahead, Shonda. Hey, this is Shanta. How you doing this season? Fucking awesome. Uh, so, oh, I'm sorry. Fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm awesome. Yes, great. So, yeah. So, um, I like partially helped with um saving a doggy's life. I'm a dog lover. I have a sister. Yorkie, Wait, you saved you. a dog's life? Hold on a second. Yeah. The good yeah. News. Yeah. He was um, no, nah, no bullshit. He was uh, urinating. Uh, blood, like literally urinating blood. Hold and tight. Every time he Hold up. Go ahead. And now, time for good news. Now tell me about how you saved the dog's life. I brought him in the pet smart. So, you know, my brother resides with this broad, and I'm calling yeah. her broad because, like, she's not a good dog owner. So my brother sends a picture to my phone, like, yo, this doesn't look normal. And it was on, like, a, a, a doggy pad, and it was massive, like, blood on the doggy pad. I'm like, yo, where's this coming from? So he said, when he urinates and when he doodles, I'm like, yo, we got to go to PetSmart, bro. Like, this shit ain't cool. So Would they have Smart, a PetSmart? Pet um, they do test at PetSmart. Oh, they they that stick, shit. Um, Yeah, it's a whole clinic. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a whole clinic. So what the, what the dog have? I can't even hear. What did the dog have? Is it alive? <laughs> did, did he die? For fuck's sakes. We'll pretend like the dog died. Or, <laughs> I mean lived. Lived. The dog lived. It's good news. Ben in New Orleans. 
Yeah, what's up? Shit, so, chilling, man. What happened was, uh, yeah, I'm doing good, man. Doing good. I'm coming up on two years uh, owning a business that I, I left this franchise. They were trying to screw me over. I left the franchise, and the day I told them I was out, uh, they they took me to court, tried suing me to shut me down. Mm-hmm. I wound up winning, and now I'm I'm sitting at, at the same spot. Uh, after two years, I got I got my my name on the cups, my name on the sign, so I'm I'm out on my own now. What kind of what kind of business is it? Uh, it's a burger spot. I got a 24 hour burger spot out uh, right outside New Orleans. Uh, you know, just kind of kind of everybody's drunk spot to go after a night out. And uh, well, you know, shout I've been it out, bro. I was 14. Yeah. What's the name of it? Um, so it's, it's Ben's Burgers. Ben's Burgers. Uh, out there on Clearview. There you and, go. Uh, eat at Ben's dot com. Y'all look us up. Good there it stuff. is. I got all these business, all, all these independent business motherfuckers listening today. Love it. Ireland's going to be a dad. Jermaine just finished pay- paying off his uh, fucking Mercedes. Insights finally starting to get traction from celebrities. And uh, Jesse's been paying his mom's bills. And G-Pay lo- loved the pill mix. That was Feel Good Friday. Let's play some music. Come on back. Yo, yo, yo. Live my self-destruction, live my self I don't get no fuss. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Hey there, what's up? How you doing? You doing good? Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, man, just rocking, man. Working for the weekend, am I right? Am I right, fellas? Ladies? Feel me? Dig it. All right, well... Maybe you missed maybe you missed a couple of the shows this week and you want something to listen to this weekend. You go to serious.com forward slash on demand. Listen on demand to the all out show. Or if you got the app, you can do you can do that there. You can do that that. So there there's your options. Follow my Instagram. Did white people Wednesday a couple of days ago. There's some real gems in there. Some real gems on my IG. It's at one more Jude. And if you need to holler at me, you can hit me on Twitter. I, I see half of them. I do. It's weird. Like Some people tweet at me. I don't see it. Other people tweet at me. I do. I can't call it. I can't figure out this. It's computy shit. Fucking computer stuff. Oh, hey, do you want to go see Wiz Khalifa and the other dude? The other dude. Ray Shremmerd. What's his name? Ray Shremmerd. Ray Shremmerd. Wiz Khalifa, Ray Shremmerd. Here is your chance to win tickets to go to Austin, Texas to watch them perform. Fucking, we'll put you and a friend up. Fly you out there. Nice hotel. There's tons of good restaurants out there. You get to see a fucking awesome show. And there's a meet and greet. So you, you take a fucking you take a picture with the famous person. All you gotta do is go to serious.com forward slash Wiz Khalifa to enter. You son of a gun. Alright. Got the news coming up with Johnny. Johnny Chin. Big chin. It's Mac tonight. Come on, make it Mac tonight. Coming up next. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. There's a study out warning that plastics could be shrinking penises around the globe. So the plastics that are everywhere. I tell you, my grandma was saying this shit way back in the day, man. Like estrogen is like all this estrogen in the plastics, man. I don't know if that shrinks dicks, but well, specifically they're talking about phthalates, BPA, parabens, all these chemicals, and these are to blame for a rise in the number of baby boys being born with genital defects, GDs as we call them in the business. <laughs> And little defects. Well, this this doctor out of Australia is saying that 
penis birth defects have doubled in recent years due to plastic use. I'm telling, bro, man. Look at look at uh, everything is plastic. Every day I drink the bottle of water out of the fucking plastic bottles. Every fucking day. Oh yeah. Everything everything in my fridge is like plastic, plastic, plastic. And you're getting all that weirdness in you. You think that's why half the dudes be acting like bitches now? Can't count it out. But they're specifically looking at this defect called hypospadia, where the opening of the penis is on the underside rather than the tip. That looks. So the 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 urethra, the little pee holes on the bottom. Yeah, I don't want that. That goes. It's like a faucet outside. It's like a nozzle. Don't want that. Got that sink dick, like a bathroom sink. It just shoots, come down. Ew. Let me see. Let me just run right here. That's for, uh, 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 all these gross baby dicks. Uh, oh, my, oh my God, the there? baby dicks. Right, Stop sorry. it, man. Get it off. Sorry. Get it off. <laughs> God damn, John. That's not right. So what is it? The moms are use, drinking too much. They're just doing too much plastic while they're pregnant or some shit? Or is this well, or the, is this just in our bodies from all of the plastic? It's just everywhere. So let's say this one BPA can leach from containers into food, uh, particularly foods with that babies and small children eat. So uh, you should try to avoid plastic, which seems almost... Impossible. Impossible. I know. That's not good. It's fucking impossible. Good thing we don't have those plastic straws out here, though. That's going to save some dicks. Going away. It's going to fucking save a couple dicks. Ugh. All right, man. Tell me something else. I don't want to think about that. You guys are lucky you didn't have to see it. What do they? What if they do want to see it? What can they look up? Uh, you want to type in the words hypospadia, and there's plenty to look at. Hypospadia. Yeah. Just drink out of glass. Metal. No, Shit like, like that. Yeah. So there's this fight that uh, went down in Nevada uh, at a McDonald's that's getting a lot of attention. Did it go down in Nevada? Where'd it go down? Did I say that? I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, it's flight went down. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. All right, well, supposedly... Uh, it looked like the, there was a big gang bang in uh, Nevada. All right, this... A rumble. This lady, a Eric... rumble ruski. <laughs> Did I... Erica Shavoya, or maybe Shavola, she was working when she got into this... This dust up with Sabrina Fontaler after uh, the the young lady she tried to take her water cup and then get some free soap <laughs> and things just got out of hand. All right, so okay, it's the oldest trick in the book. It's, it's like, <laughs> you ask for the water cup and then you if you want if like if you want to be kind of slick about it, you get the sprite. You know what I mean? Just so. Everybody can pretend like you're not stealing. But what, what flavor did she get? Uh, she never got any. Oh, she, well, wait, show I, me. I mean, Erica she, just lost it. Well, show me. All right, here we go. All right, they're in McDonald's. Oh, damn, that girl is big as shit. That make- Hell no, she just pummeled her ass. Our titties out. I love that. Stop it. Oh, oh, she caught her. The little Mexican girl got heart. She just keeps getting fucked up. Her her mom worked there. She hit her again. That's pretty much it. Wow. Oy, oy. The girl trying to steal the uh, soda pop was kind of fuckable. 
in a real trashy dirt dirt on the bottom of her feet sort of way. Well, this is her mud her, foot. Her Instagram. Oh, she wasn't Mexican. She's what Filipino or some shit. Looks like it. Mexican of the sea. She she's embracing them. this. Look at her Instagram. <laughs> she yeah. <laughs> She posted herself getting beat up. Get the fuck out of here. And Erica, the worker, she is now saying that she still has a job, which is kind of hard to understand. Well, the if you go back at the very beginning, the 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 little Filipino chick, she fucking she was she started she she started it. She threw some shit at her. I mean, that's like... Hit play. All right. She, she hit her, yeah. She threw some shit and hit, hit her. <laughs> that's like you coming in here and just beating the shit out of me. Why didn't you reach out to this woman? Just not, like, that would have been the next thing. That would have been my next... Well, we still can. I mean, I just saw it a couple hours ago. I mean, wh- who do you want to talk to? The... I one? don't know the one who has an Instagram account that posted a picture of her getting beat up by the giant fucking Mexican broad. I, and I like that the mother and daughter worked there because she was like, don't you disrespect my mom. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if the mom worked there. I think or she maybe, was just throwing some insult at her. But then I think that was it? Yeah. All right. Play it again for me a little bit. She, you can just play the whole damn thing. I, I find it really good. She's, she's, oh, she's just... This lady's like 6'2", like 270. Damn, she just... Oh, stop it. Oh. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Oh, she don't. She don't play that shit. I would have loved to have seen the like the two minutes before this shit. How did it get that bad? Yeah. But you you think she should keep her job? Coming out from behind the counter and just laying into her like that? I mean, fists were flying. She was assaulted. With a milkshake. <laughs> Still assault. Some those. Those, she threw a milkshake on, shake on her, and she threw, hit her with a tray. And then that's when, that's when that lady just went straight up gorilla. She just went fucking, yeah. She was dragging her like Harambe. <laughs> but and then, then the shorter, the shorter McDonald's lady came in and, and, and cuffed, cuffed her face a couple times. Got a couple, got a couple licks in. I thought she was trying to break it up. She was, but then the girl kept going nuts, and then she just fucking hit her again. Well, now, Sabrina, she's the she's the milkshake th- thrower. She's saying that she was charged with battery over the incident, and then again, the worker is saying that she still has her job. So that's that's the update. Man, that. <sighs> I don't know, man. When I worked at McDonald's, I didn't give a fuck when people, like, took things. Man, shit, I was taking things. I was like, whatever. Like, everybody was taking things, especially, like, I, I don't think I don't think it was worth a fucking giant fight over a, a cup of pop. But hey, she takes her job very serious. You gonna pay for this? You, and the worst part is, isn't it like ninety nine cents for every single size of fucking cup? Like they're literally fighting over a dollar. It's the principle of it, I guess. All right, there, there it is. But just finally, you really think that lady should keep her job? I mean, if if, if the manager comes out from behind. A counter and then just starts wailing on somebody. If you if you were the manager, you'd say, "Ah, eh, okay." I'd probably sit her down and be like, "Hey, man, like, I respect 
where you're coming from. You really don't want people to uh, steal seven cents worth of pop from us. (laughs) But uh, just moving forward, we don't need a full-on brawl over seven cents worth of pop. I do appreciate your dedication to McDonald's. You've been here every day. You show up on time. But please don't beat up people for stealing pop. It was they had words, though. You know that's what it was. It was like some woman shit. They had words with each other. Or it's a people shit. It got beyond the pop. It it turned into a battle of wills. How fucking shameless are you that you start an Instagram account and then put you getting beat up on that shit? Well, only about 859 followers at this point. So we'll see. That would have been an easy one to book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else? So the New York Post, they are running this story about millennials quitting their their lucrative jobs just to travel around and and hang out. Imagine that. <laughs> Jesus, man. They they talked to a couple of these these people, but they're basing this on uh oh this survey, this 2018 millennial survey by Deloitte. 43% of millennials expect to leave their job within 2 years. 43%. Okay. And according to the Labor Department, the percentage of workers quitting their jobs reached 2.4% in May, the highest level in more than 16 years. So this is... So they just don't feel like working. They've made enough money. If they want to travel around, perhaps go to uh, Hawaii, as this one person, Sarah, said here. (laughs) That, you got to be... You gotta have your parents gotta be paid or some shit like that. That that never even crossed my mind. Well, there's some young people here in this office. They're they're traveling across to Europe and shit like that. I'm like, how the fuck are they doing this? I don't know. They got an inheritance coming or some shit. They're, 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 Mom and dad are still around. So. Yeah, something, <laughs> some something's, something's something's happening. Like I like how does that like how just I don't begrudge like that you. So if you're if you're a millennial with some grind, like you can really get ahead. You can really, you half the people you're competing against, they're not even playing. You got bitches in Jamaica just trying to get some dick. Like they just down there, like fuck it, let me find myself. Brighten their hair, putting seashells in their hair and shit. They're also pointing out that looks like the job market is hot right now. If you have some skills, uh, unemployment is at a record low. And so the war for talent is hotter than ever. So people are just able to move around a little more freely, which I've not witnessed personally. But Well, we're in the radio yeah. business. Don't nobody want us. We don't have, I don't have a skill. Just the opposite is happening. Yeah. I got, it's not like I, can, I know how to program some shit or I'm good at math. Like these skilled positions, bro, they can't fill them. Yeah, learn coding. Coding or fucking a trade, one of the two. Like go, you, like you go, like go be a tree trimmer. You can start a tree trimming business or some shit like that, or fucking plumber, or like get on that high end shit. You can cake up either way. It's, it's those people with the humanities degrees and shit like that. Don't Good. do it. Nah. Don't do it. Don't. Tens of thousands of dollars. John, that's why that's... Yeah, John. <laughs> what is that what is, what, History? You got a... History and philosophy. What a dick. That was stupid. <laughs> what I, a dick. What else was I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so they just fucking dropping out of the fucking workplace. Yeah, if you've got a decent job and then suddenly, yeah, I don't need this anymore. Let me go. It's fucking too stressful, man. Boss is fucking harsh in my mellow. I'm fuck out of here, man. I'm going to Croatia. <laughs> Come back, get hired again. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, she's also uh, going to Guatemala. 
climbing volcanoes. Sarah Solomon. Sarah, they they sell uh, oxycotton uh, over the counter down there in Guatemala. Is they really? Yeah, oxycodone. They come in purple. They're purple. They look like fucking Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> Buck a piece. Have fun down there. <laughs> Go get it. All right. What else? Cord cutting. It is continuing to happen throughout the U.S. Pay TV cancelers uh, to hit 33 million this coming year, 2018. All y'all motherfuckers, I'm going to say it again. All Every, every time I would do an IG Live, so, there would always be somebody like, uh, uh, look at your rabbit ears. Uh, you're poor. I'm like, nah, bitch. I just, I'm not going to be paying $150 for the goddamn, for cable when I got everything I need through my little fucking, I don't even know what the, I got like a Vimeo or some shit. I was watching, I just, I just, Downloaded a bunch of Shark Tank. I feel like I know how to run a company now. <laughs> so, but you have that digital receiver so you can pull it off the air as well? Do you, do you ever watch local TV? The only time I ever watch local TV is for fucking sports. Uh, that's the only time, that's the only reason I don't, like everything else, you can just get a la carte. Or you can download a fucking torrent if you feel like doing that. So, but if you hear about a hostage situation at Trader Joe's, you, you don't turn on the local news to check it out? I didn't give a fuck when that shit was happening. I watched the whole thing. I gave two fucks. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> what you, you don't the care. fuck do I care? Hostages. That's probably, yo, dude, there's probably, like, if you think about that, this is a big world. There's probably a hostage situation going on all the fucking time. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck do I care? Like... <laughs> People are in peril. I got enough dark thoughts in my fucking head. Oh, I'm gonna fucking watch that shit bum me out on a Saturday. Like fuck that. I'm not gonna let no hostage situation ruin my Saturday. <laughs> if you'd been nearby, would you've checked it out? Gone over to it. I I lived right by there. I just didn't go. It wasn't. I what know. the fuck was I gonna I don't do? Know. What was I going to do? I don't, s- I don't even got my BB gun yet. Like, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> I didn't think you'd Hey, c- c- calm down. It's not worth it, bro. Think about, like, think about your love. Oh, I forgot you already shot your grandma in the face. All right, I guess it doesn't fucking matter. What the fuck am I going to do? I was just more bummed out that, like, you couldn't get anywhere. They had all the fucking streets crossed. That was, that was more my shit. I was like, hurry the fuck up, man. Sort this shit out so I can fucking get to the bar. Was it more of a club than a bar? Never mind. Why are you sharpshooting me, man? Sorry. What the fuck does it matter? They had drinks there. And then some fucking shitty singer. Ugh. Now they're saying the number of viewers accessing over the top internet delivered video services keeps growing about. 147.5 million people in the U.S. watch Netflix at least once per month. Yeah, bro. Like, it's a it's a wrap, dog. It's a wrap for cable. They don't know what to do, man. They're trying to jump in on that. That's why half them cable companies are also your internet provider. Like, they, you know. I think I pay $60 a month for fucking internet. Like, really? That's, like... Yeah, that's high. It's high as fuck. But they're trying to make their money up. Motherfuckers try to sell me a bundle. Like, a home phone. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I need that. Yeah, fucking home phone. (laughs) So someone can call me at home. I'm curious to see how that's just going to go. See, and I told y'all motherfuckers, I've been cut the cord... Fucking over ten years ago. I ain't ten had, years ago. Yeah, I had yeah. Fucking for over ten years, I ain't had no cable, none of that shit. I had it bootlegged in a motherfucker too. I had a computer hooked up, like I had an actual fucking laptop hooked up to into my shit, and I would just download fucking movies and torrents and YouTube and just run it, run it right through there. Huh. And now I just use the other shit, and it gets it's so bad that. Like, there'll be a movie that I want to watch, and I'll have the DVD, but I won't even... I'll just rent the fucking movie. 
because I don't want to get up and fucking put in the DVD and hit all the buttons. <laughs> Fuck, it's $2. What am I doing? Give me some good news. And now, time for good news. Some three kids in Colorado, they were out and about and then saw a wallet under someone's car, and it turns out it had $700 in it. Now, the car was in the driveway, so they went up to the front door and rang the doorbell and uh, tried to give the, the guy's wallet back. I've got some doorbell cam footage of this uh, event, if you want to see it. Some kids. Some kids in Colorado. There's some, some honest kids in Colorado. Thought we would give it back to you, so we freaked out. We found your wallet outside of your car, and we just thought we would give it back to you. So I don't know. I'm gonna put it over here so no one takes any money. Haley, Ashley, and Reagan know they were doing the right thing, but are having a hard time understanding why everyone thinks it's such a big deal. Still, they admit that things could have gone much differently if they hadn't seen the wallet. Not very many kids our age would give back a wallet full of money. Yeah, because they're fucking thieves. <laughs> no one's <laughs> boastful. Seven hundred bucks. That's that's cool. Good good on. Would you have done that as a child? I don't know. Yeah, I'd have been torn, man. I don't know. Well, at that at that age, what the hell am I gonna do with seven hundred dollars? If I knew the, if I knew the neighbor, then I'd have given it back. But it, but if I didn't, then I probably would have. That that that's why they say uh, you're more likely to get like I I carry my little wallet is doesn't have it's just got carries all my cards and my license and I carry my cash in my pocket. I just don't get that. You have a better chance of getting getting the shit back. Oh, the wallet. Cause, yeah, cause oh, okay. you get all your info. Like yeah, all right, you lose a couple hundred bucks. That fucking sucks. But like having to go to the DMV. And then cancel all your credit cards and all that shit. That's a fucking hassle. So you just, that's why you shouldn't have a, some old dudes told me that. And I was like, that's a good idea, old dude. That's a fucking good idea. Well, old motherfuckers tell you shit, just listen to them. Because they old, they been down that road. More likely to get your wallet back. 700 bucks. You think they got a reward? If you got, if you, if someone gave you back a wallet, would I give money? Yes, absolutely. Seven hundred dollars. How much would you give each kid? I mean, twenty bucks a piece, ten a piece. They're, 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 they're ten tiny. A piece. What, what, the, what am I gonna? I'm gonna freak out their parents. Here's two hundred dollars. I mean, what? Am I, how much would you give? I don't know. I don't know. Like, 50 bucks a piece Some what? shit like that I'm sorry. Do, If I give him 100 a piece now, now I'm down to fucking 400 dollars <laughs> It's half my fucking money Right there Hey you got fucking hair Hair there you go Thanks for being honest Thank you for not playing me a dog clip I appreciate that there are plenty to choose from. I know all it is is fucking dogs, isn't it? There are so many out they there. They love fucking dogs in this country. I get it. They're cool. They fucking, they love you as long as you feed them and shit. Right. Whatever. All right. That was the news. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. All right. That was the show. Let's see. We got John Jet. Chris, Alex, Keenan. Shout out to all the, uh, thanks to everybody. And uh, my name is Jude Angelini. Also, hey, hey, by the way, BT Dub, like all the cool chicks say. By the way, you want to go see Wiz Khalifa? Well, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a concert. To see with Khalifa, Khalifa and Ray Schremmerd. You got to go to serious.com forward slash with Khalifa. And uh, you and a friend can win two tickets. Hop on an airplane. Fly down to Austin, Texas. They'll put you up in a nice hotel. And you get to go to the show and there's a meet and greet. Bam. 
Enter now to win. All right. You guys have a good weekend. And I'm the fuck out of here.